Elastic deformation is a change in the shape of an object where the object returns to its original shape after forces are removed. Remember that deformations are the result of two or more forces causing the change in shape of an object. For example, stretching a spring. To stretch a spring, the forces must be in opposite directions and the spring can then extend. When the spring is released, it returns back. This is an elastic deformation as it returns back to its original shape and length. But are all deformations elastic? Inelastic deformation is a change in the shape of an object where the object does not return to its original shape after forces are removed. This example involves different springs. The spring is extended again, but instead, when the spring is released, it is now longer. So this deformation is inelastic, as the spring is now longer than it was before when there are no forces acting on it. Inelastic deformations are caused when particles are pulled apart enough to break bonds. Elastic and inelastic deformations are two definitions that you'll need to be able to remember and understand during an exam. So what determines if a deformation is elastic or inelastic? Well, inelastic deformations occur when we apply too much force when causing the deformation. So looking at these springs as examples, the first deformation will be elastic as a small force is used and the spring doesn't stretch enough to break any bonds. On the other hand, the second deformation will be inelastic as a larger force is used, meaning bonds are broken in the material. So what are some examples of elastic and inelastic deformations? Elastic bands snap back to their original shape but will break if stretched too much. So most elastic band deformations are elastic as they will snap back to their original shape and they may even have some kinetic energy. A band will break when too much force is applied and it thins out as it's too weak to hold together at the centre where it's strained. Cans will crumple when compressed unless only very light forces are applied. So the can is able to undergo an elastic deformation if a very light force is applied and the metal pops back into place. But the can can undergo an inelastic deformation if a larger force is applied when the metal doesn't move back when released and the shape is changed permanently. The materials used to make an object determine how much force is needed to cause inelastic deformations. You don't need to remember these specific examples of deformation, but these are common examples that you might be asked to analyse and explain in an exam. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.